Hello everyone and thanks for taking some time out of your busy day to evaluate Burn Lounge. We know a trusted friend, family member, coworker, or business associate asked you to look at this company and concept and we're going to be mindful of your time but we do want to tell you about this industry changing company. Burn Lounge has positioned themselves in front of this digital movement. The first question we ask you to consider is do you believe we're headed to a digital era in music and entertainment? Buying habits are changing. In fact, it's a $200 billion buying habit that's going from traditional brick-and-mortar retail stores online. In fact, everybody is after that $200 billion. Everyone hearing my voice plays a small role of that $200 billion. Your friends, your family, your associates, your business partners are all part of that equation. But the million-dollar question is how do we capture or be a part of that equation? Well, Burn Lounge founder and CEO Alex Arnold with a background in direct sales and network marketing thought, what if we just made everyone a retailer? See, four years ago, Alex Arnold wanted to be in the music industry, but he recognized a distribution flaw. Traditional retail was going bankrupt, music piracy was at an all-time high, and there was no platform for the independent artist. So he drew up this business model, shared it with Rick Dees of the Weekly Top 40 who thought this will be the next big thing in music and entertainment. I want to be your first investor. Since then, every major record label has licensed their content for Burn Lounge retailers to sell for profit. While it's music today, it'll be movies, books, ringtones, video games, you name it, tomorrow. Anything that can be digitized, coded, and licensed through Burn Lounge, non-exclusively for you to sell. So the second question I'd ask you to consider is, does this truly make sense to the end consumer? See, there's no question the direct sales industry works with less obvious products like nutritionals, cosmetics, phone services, legal services, but my thought was, if this made sense from a consumer level, there would be fortunes made. I'd ask you to consider this analogy. Google, six years ago, was simply a word, but it changed a habit online. It changed the way people navigated the Internet and over the past six years become a verb, become a billion-dollar household name brand. Well, that's what we believe with Burn Lounge. Here's why. For as little as $30 a year, anyone over the age of 13 can own their own portal on their own personal computer where they become the power broker themselves. They're now part of the equation. They may simply want to treat this as a consumer or a customer and get credit for what they're inevitably going to purchase and buy it from themselves. The analogy I use there is an American Express card. My wife and I purchased that card because it changed our buying habits. We no longer needed cash or checkbook. It was simple, easy, and oh, by the way, every time we used that card, we got rewards points because we paid a yearly membership fee. Same thing with Burn Lounge. People are always going to buy that bestseller book, rent that next blockbuster movie, always buy music and entertainment, and probably, unfortunately, have video games for our kids, cell phones for our teenagers with ringtones when someone calls. Wouldn't it be nice to get credit every time that was purchased? Well, because I thought to the end consumer this does make sense, I felt there was opportunity. Here's why. Where does someone get a Burn Lounge? It's you. Burn Lounge pays retailers to develop communities of people. What do I mean? Here's an example. With two companies that don't actually sell a product, their revenues are generated from advertising fees. Why? Communities of people are valuable. MySpace sold for nearly 700 million. YouTube recently acquired by Google for 1.65 billion. Communities of people are valuable. Burn Lounge, however, is taking a different approach because the people who created the value of MySpace and YouTube, they didn't get a piece of the 700 million or 1.65 billion respectively. But Burn Lounge is going to pay you this time. In fact, they're going to give you a piece of software that will allow you to develop communities that make sense for people. And in doing so, some people will simply be self-consuming customers. Others will treat it like a business by simply sharing it with a few who share it with a few. And as your communities grow and virally impact this industry, you now become an important part of that $200 billion equation. People that have already said yes to this model, hootie and the blowfish. 
Shaquille O'Neal, Yahoo Finance press release, wants to be a part of the music industry after his NBA career, has a passion for music, wants to empower his fans. Customized stores, Danica Patrick, perhaps one of the most celebrated female athletes, not a paid endorser of Burn Lounge, but wanted to be a part because it made sense for her. She loves music, wants to be a part of this industry-changing concept. Justin Timberlake, one of the hottest artists in the industry right now, positions Burn Lounge right along the other majors on his public domain, justintimberlake.com. But what's significant is with all others, you simply go to a generic store. With Burn Lounge, you go to Justin Timberlake's store and find out what he's passionate about, what music he's listening to, how you can be a part of his group. Right now, you're in Burn Lounge 1.0. Burn Lounge 2.0, which will revolutionize the music and entertainment industry, combining social networking like a MySpace with the digital downloading of iTunes, with the stream video of, say, a Netflix, perhaps even adding in the mobile capacity with a wireless provider. That will launch in first quarter of 2007. International expansion is inevitable. That's where it truly made sense to me. As my name is Rob DeBoer, I have no experience in the music and entertainment industry. I was forced to look at this from a business standpoint. Well, what I understood was music's a universal language, not only for my nine-year-old who loves Green Day, Fall Out Boy, but also my seven-year-old father who's passionate about Johnny Cash, Elvis, and Frank Sinatra. And I'll go as far to say people all over the world are passionate about music and entertainment. What's the cost risk associated? Trusting your friend to be a part of this and evaluate this from a consumer or customer's perspective, there's none. You can buy the very same product at the very same price point from a burn lounge that you can anywhere else. The only difference, a burn lounge retailer earns the commission. That may be you, it may be your best friend. But from a business owner's perspective, I saw some risks or costs associated well, from a consumer standpoint, it was simple. It made sense. For a $430 investment, I could really dive in and be what's called a Burn Lounge VIP and turn this into a lucrative business if I so chose. My reputation was on the line, but with celebrity endorsements, industry acceptance, every major record label licensing their content for me and any retailer to sell, could they all be wrong? Sure. Chances are they're not. Probably the biggest risk for me, however, was my time. Love my job, three kids, coach peewee football, never going to be a millionaire, but I read the millionaire books. And what Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki always would say, leverage your time. In fact, when I was recruited by the University of Nebraska, I had the opportunity to hear Warren Buffett speak, and he said, if you should ever be so lucky to find an industry shift, and a vehicle that positions you in front of that, true wealth can be created. That's what I believe Burn Lounge will be. It's going to change the habits of millions and millions of people as they buy music and entertainment online from themselves, from their own PC, because it makes sense for them. What I would encourage you to do is navigate through this site. Look at how our compensation model is developed how we get paid to develop communities, sell packages, how we get paid residual on product sales that today are music, tomorrow will be movie rentals, ringtones, cell phones, books, TV shows, you name it. Thanks so much for your time. We know you trusted someone to be here and we appreciate that. Have a great day and God bless.